Hey y'all, good morning. It's Nani here. Um, it's festival day. Happy festival day. It is the high tea party festival and a pompous guy. Okay, so you can see that there are two islands here and this one in the middle is the actual festival island. Um, where you're going to be working and cooking and all that stuff. Um, there's also a pet available. Um, there are two pets available, one from the festival shop and one from completing this large island. Okay, so this year's shop, you can see the two main uh, rewards here. One of them is Fifi, the little Chihuahua dog. Um, and that was last year's reward that is now available in the shop. You can also get a new skin for your bungalow. Um, if you're looking to uh, change up your bungalow, that's really cute. Um, and then the big island reward is the new pet, which is this cat. All right, and this is nice because if you give it the fish pot pie, um, it won't follow you around. It'll stay on your island. I'm really liking that change in these pets. Okay, so back to here. Um, if you want to do this big island, which I've heard it's about 20K to do that big one, um, then you have to do the setup on the festival island first to trigger that one. And I'll walk you guys through the, screen, the setup screenshots. All right, first of all, um, if you're going to be cooking on the festival island for all that stuff in the shop, um, these are the things that you're going to need to bring from your home island. You'll also need some buckets, um, not that many buckets, like at least one to start. I would bring a couple. Also, this video is going to be um, just about the festival island. I don't have the big island information yet, and I'll do a separate video for that. So let's just walk through festival island setup. All right, when you first log in, um, both of those islands are going to be uh, grayed over, and you're going to need to trigger it. So the first thing you need to do on your home island is plant tea in your garden plots. So the tea leaves are um, in your regular garden stuff. Um, they're on a two hour timer for that tea. All right, as soon as you um, harvest your first tea, then uh, this guy's gonna pop back up and start yakking at you about this balloon down here. So you're gonna have to do this at least once. When you click on him, he's gonna go find you spices and whatnot to use on your festival island. Um, I can't remember what the percentage was here. The planks are go up 1%, so you need quite a lot to if you're going to use planks for that. I think the clay lanterns were 13% or 15 and that's the fewest to get that thing um, all the way closed and I can't I think this was maybe 10. I can't remember. Anyway, once you do that, um, you're going to have the three-hour timer pop up, and he should bring you what you need after three hours. But for doing that, you get all your starting stuff to go over to the festival island. Okay, and then he's going to tell you that hibiscus seeds come from some of the tea that you're growing in your garden. So if you're low on hibiscus seeds and you need that, you need to um, plant and harvest more tea. All right, and then at that point, um, the island opens up and it tells you to go over and plant hibiscus on the festival island. All right, once you're over there, immediately you're going to get this one pop up and you can see the vanilla growing on the palm trees here. That's what you're going to need to chop to get the vanilla and get it drying. And that, that vanilla is on a 20 hour timer. All right, then come over here along that little fence and um, plant your hibiscus seeds, and those are a 40-minute timer. All right, don't forget to do this every two hours. Um, I believe it's a two-hour timer on these, and there are five locations this little hat shows up, and it's really hard to see. Hopefully, I, uh, my island will be ready to go over there and find it again. Um, and this is the first position that it's been showing up right in front of this baker shop. All right, a map from last year where to find that. This should be where it shows up first, second down here. And remember, you're not going to see the hat unless you hover over it. It's going to be like a little mass of sparklies that you see. Um, so number three back there, four over here, and five way back there. Every two hours, um, you get extra stuff that you need by doing that. 
All right, so after you finish the quest for, um, oh, you got to set this table. So you got to you got to pick the vanilla, get it drying, and make some tea. And you'll have been given the stuff to start making the tea. As soon as you start making the tea, you're going to get a tea set where you can come over here and set this table. And once you set that table, it's going to trigger the um, this to come talk to this girl right here. And that's how you get the Island of Noble Estates open. And like I said, I'll do um, a separate video for that island because that is going to be a really big island. All right, and um, after this timer runs through, they're going to leave a gift. Um, I can't remember if it's on the table. I think it's on the table or right around near the table. So, I mean, that's what you're going to be doing um, to work this festival is you're going to be cooking in the tea shop, um, in the two crafting stations, feeding these tables, and, okay, I'll just walk through. Hang on. All right, so for this cooking table, this is what you're going to need. Um, and these things, these are only five, and these last are 10 minutes for those, so not too long, but you but you do need quite a lot of them um, to, to be able to do this. All right, the next quest stuff you need for cooking is going to be pomegranates, mandarins, and catching salmon. Um, so these are the pomegranate trees, and you can see they're sort of decrepit, which is why you need the bucket. You put one bucket in here, um, and then you're going to be able to collect water out of there. All right, and I didn't get the screenshot. I think you get um, four buckets of water. You put one bucket in, use strength to collect, and then you get four buckets. So you can do four trees, or you can do these two trees twice. All right, let's see. I'm going to put a bucket in here, put in one, and then click it. And I think I get four. One, two. So if you if you only want to just do two at a time and save yourself some strength, I'm going to go ahead and do all four, yeah. So then you put it on this tree. And then you can collect your pomegranates. All right, let's see. So you get three harvests out of that, it said. Come on, girly girl. There you go. And that is five hour timer on there. All right, so pomegranate's done. The next thing is mandarins, and you're gonna have to fight these little sundews to be able to access your mandarins. Um, you can see I'm out of strength right there but there are strength, strength ponds on this island so that you can fill up and be able to collect your water or fight your little sundews. All right, the other thing is salmon. Okay, so if you use the blue lure, you get 22 pieces. And it's only one harvest, and it's a five-hour goes straight to the five-hour timer. Using the green lure, you can do it twice, and you get 15 pieces. Or you can use the strength, and you can do that three times. So 15 strength gets you nine pieces. So if you really want to do a lot of cooking, um, you might want to make some blue lures for that. I think I forgot to tell you guys that the little sundew sprouts are on a four hour timer. All right, after that, we're gonna start working on this crafting station down here, which is where the sandwiches and these things are made. Um, as soon as you start making something in there, you're gonna get this to be able to move forward. All right, and here's a look inside that shop, and this is what you're gonna need the um, syrups and cheese for. All right, so you're doing all that um, in order to do your tea tasting up here on this big table. All right, and you can see these chests here, and they want keys. Um, the guy was right here in the middle, and I already did his little tea tasting thing, and he gave me a key to open the gold chest right here. Here's the quest for that. You can see him standing there in the middle. So when you click on him, it's one of these things. Um, so you're going to need to be feeding him tea. I did not have enough tea 
to get this all the way up to green so I had to use some diamonds to speed up to do that so before you do this make sure you've got tea made already more than this but then um, if you keep him all the way at the end to green then you, he's gonna give you this key to open that chest all right so let's see what's in there I'm gonna open it I got 30 points is that all I got 30 points congratulations to me hmm all right 30 points for that um silver key I'm assuming it's one of these let's click on there and see so I'm gonna I'm gonna begin and then if I don't have the tea I'm kind of I'm kind of out of luck so let's do that and I don't see I need this one here um, so I'll just show you so obviously the blue one um, gets you higher up there and I've got one more of those and I can give another one I don't have enough um, so I'll probably lose that but um, that's the deal let's see what happens if we click on the little girl I've got more of these let's see I may be able to complete that one there see I'm good but you got to get all the way over to here to get that key okay next quest is um, Tiffany gonna be painting some stuff and you need to collect flowers to make these paints and all the flowers are back here near this um, big table and you're gonna have to use your elixirs to get those growing again for you after that you click on these blank canvases and they'll uh, make a painting and then in 10 hours um, somebody's gonna come buy it from you and I don't know what we're getting for that yet but um, all right you can see here's one there here's a canvas over here we've got three down here and I don't have enough for that but if you use the eye of course there's a bunch more out here all right I just realized my little sparkly guy is down here so you can see the hat went away you can barely see that and you hover it and you click Oh, and I got a rabbit key. Okay, so that's what that's what we're clicking those for, rabbit key. Now we'll come back in two hours and um, find him again. Okay, the rabbit key goes with this right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click it and enter my rabbit key. Now I've got one hour to complete this part. So I'm going to go in there. Alrighty. And just collect eggs and get points. That's what that's for. So that's why you're wanting to come over every two hours and uh, click on that little Mad Hatter thing so that you can get a key and come in here and get all these extra points with very little effort. There is a little uh, trial icon up there. If you click on that, it tells you how many eggs you still need to collect. Okay, so a couple of other things. Um, you can see the barrels right here. This is going to have all the supplies you need for cooking um, every day. So I can come back in 17 hours. Um, uh, it's probably about 20 hours. Um, maybe it's 24 hours. I don't know. I didn't check when I first clicked it. But don't forget to come get this every day, even if you're not working on the festival. Um, my tea table is done and these people left so I'm gonna go ahead and click these and you'll see your points go up when you do that <clears throat> I'm probably gonna finish a quest with that too yeah level four all right I just noticed something when I clicked that that's why I stopped um, this is a different account and you can see that the points from level two are at 350 oops didn't mean to click that and the one I, on my main account I level four it's at 600 so um, the the point requirements are going up which with each level okay almost at the end of my video um, okay so let's go back to Tiffany again and this painting quest with these flowers this is new not something we did last year so I'm about to give you guys a map, but there will be some differences on the map because of this, this quest right here. Um, we didn't have this last year, and if you need to get these flowers, you're going to have to get them from out here. 
All right, so everything I've seen so far is this map is pretty close to last year. All this stuff down here is the same, um, except for you can see here, these flowers are different. So there are going to be some differences, and, and the differences will be where these flowers are found on this island. I don't know yet. Um, when I, if I can get an updated map showing where all those flowers are, um, I will get that to you guys. But other than that, this does seem to be pretty close as far as barriers go, um, from what I'm being told. So hopefully this will be helpful to some of you. Though, if you guys start clearing out and you find that it is completely different, please put something in the comments. Okay, that's it for now as far as setup goes, and I will start working on that big island and get a map up for that, a video up for that. Oh, the kitten's going crazy. Um, and if I get any updated information about other differences from last year, I will let you guys know that too. I'll do an update video. Okay, happy festival day. Thank you all so much. Please don't forget to hit the like button, follow my channel, share my videos, etc. I will be back with you real soon. Thank you.